Roger, on our first encounter, I had found some things that were concerning, and he and his wife asked, what could it possibly be? And so there were several diagnoses that sort of played in that differential, if you will. Um, and when I mentioned one that ultimately became his diagnosis, he wasn't wavered. He didn't falter. He didn't seem um, affected. And in medicine, we're always worried, did the patient actually understand what I just said? Are they grasping it or are they in denial? Are they aware of what I've just shared with them? So I had him play sort of a closed loop conversation. I'm going to say this and I want you to tell me what you heard. He understood it, but he wasn't concerned in the fact of what the future would hold. And one of the things that I identify in my practice comes from Jeremiah 29 11, fear not for I know the plans I have for you, not to harm you, but to prosper you. And I can see that being lived out in Coach Evans. I can see where he is committed to what the Word of God has for him. And he's using this as an opportunity to witness to other people. This is not a uh, opportunity for him to stop and focus on this diagnosis that many people might find as an opportunity to kind of call it quits and say, I'm not sure I can walk on. I have seen him progress stronger, more devout in his faith. As this has gone on, he has not faltered at any point. He's not wavered in his faith. When I see him at the football games, when I see him at flag football, when I see him on campus in the lunchroom, the Spirit of Christ shines through him. The love for what he does is more than readily apparent. And when he touches the kids through word and through practice and through education, it seems to give him the strength that he needs to continue to go forward. Obviously, he's very important to his family. I've had an opportunity to meet some of them at um, a couple of outings here at Lakeland Christian they share that same faith. He is truly the image of God being lived out for he and his family, but also for this campus. You don't find that in every man that you encounter. And to see that faith brought to life through what he's done, what he's doing, how he's using this as a witnessing tool to others is a rarity that you see in medicine. The first thing that struck me was his obvious faith and persistence in Christ. Uh, there was a, a conversation between he and I when he initially came to the clinic. And I asked him um, how much time he had because there were a couple of things that might take a few moments, maybe even an hour, an hour and 15 minutes. He said he needed to get back to, to, to campus because he had a PE course and there were two kids in there. He needed to make sure that they were doing okay. He knew their names. He knew their story. And I thought, wow, how incredible this guy is obviously committed to what he does and so I, I wanted to try and make that time available for him to get back to campus. Um, once we became aware of other issues that we would need to, to deal with, um, he quickly made a phone call back to the campus and realized that you know he wouldn't be able to make it back but he wanted someone to communicate with those kids that he would be there tomorrow. No matter what, he was going to be there tomorrow and he was. Um, as this relationship between physician and patient have sort of evolved over the last month and years, um, I've come to realize that he is truly a critical part of this campus. These children look to him, they trust him, they, he knows their names, he knows their background. He's very unique in that he not only enjoys what he's doing, but he's passionate about it. He enjoys the opportunity to share the Word of God through physical education. And that is a rarity that you don't find in all of your educators across the board. So I've got two boys, um, pretty physical, both of them. They, they love physical education and they're both participating in flag football. Um, they, they told me when we were practicing in the backyard, you know, the way they needed to step and throw and release the ball, because that's what Coach Evans told them. And he is an expert. He's, he's the coach. He knows how to do these things. So they showed me the way he had shown them and I, I helped them to understand what he was talking about. And they, when they see him on the football field, that is their buddy. They know him, he knows their names, he's connected to those kids, and not just my boys, but those kids on the field, they are drawn to him, they see the love of Christ lived out in his education and in his walk. And when my boys talk about Coach Evans, they almost inevitably will talk about some, either something funny that's happened while they were there, and how he said they were doing a good job, and that they were getting better. Coach Evans said I was getting better today that means so much to them, to know that they are valued. And as a parent, to know that people are taking an interest in your children's life, it's, it's valuable, very valuable. At times, it's difficult to realize what the future may or may not hold. 
but I am grateful for the chance to have played a part in his health care. To know that God put me in a place at the right time, at the right moment, to meet a man who truly lives the Word of God. And for that, the years of training and the sleepless nights and the pagers, <laughs> it's worth it to know that you are able to play a position that will help direct people like Coach Evans to better health, a chance to witness and a chance to improve what he has in terms of physical being, but at the same time benefit from his spiritual strength. I may have been the one that found the diagnosis. I may have been the one that created appointments, but I also was the one witness to that day by his response and his unyielding spirit and his servitude, the way that he has embraced this and the way that he is still growing spiritually challenges me as a man and as the spiritual leader of my home to rise to the cause because people like him are the people you want your children to model their behavior and the kind of folks that I hope to have for me to model my behavior after as well.